Welcome to Team Telecon's Finger Puppet Management Presentation. Let's meet the team. Our team consists of Jason Wren, Michelle Lott, Natalie Anastasia, and Abner Ruiz. We all came together during this project and put our minds and brainstormed for a TV show and we'll be explaining in this PowerPoint presentation. Our task objectives. The purpose of this program was to teach valuable lessons about different workplace conflicts. Our target audiences consist of professionals between the ages of 23 and 45. The show will be material delivered within settings and through discussions that are more mature in content, i.e. such as uh, adult humor, bars, and clubs. Each week will be a new episode focusing on different problems that our protagonists will navigate through. Each week's episode will introduce different principles of management as well as management challenges as presented by different characters. Our introduction to our TV show and our target management concepts. We focused on managerial ethics, managers and management, collectivism, strategy and decision, leadership, culture, and organizational structure and design. All of these concepts are part of our uh, episodes and were included in the, in the TV show. Bad Owner. This is our TV show, everyone. It's about a general manager and his struggle to deal with a bad owner whose improper lifestyle leads to a ruined reputation for Finn Steakhouse Restaurant. So after two mysterious reporters begin regularly coming to the restaurant, owned by Marco and run by Oliver, the restaurant's reputation takes a dive as the reporters uncover secrets about Finn's owner Marco and his illegal activities. Oliver begins a race against time to fix this mess and return the steakhouse to its former glory. The restaurant's employees begin leaving the job little by little, and Oliver has to refer to his best friends, who are all managers in their own right, and embody principles of fine leadership to save Finns and to learn the truth behind Marco's actions. Each of our episodes uh, will focus on different principles of management. Let's talk a little bit about Finn Steakhouse. Finn Steakhouse restaurant is owned by Marco Finn and run by Oliver Jacks, the general manager. It's a high-end restaurant located in about downtown Tampa. Business booms and the steakhouse is bringing in more money than ever. The restaurant is becoming recognized statewide and is winning food awards and receiving visits from popular food critics. Our main characters for this show, we have the protagonist who is Oliver, the general manager. He is professional, ambitious, and highly personable. He works hard to make sure that each customer at the restaurant is enjoying his or her dining experience. Uh, he is a highly observant individual. And he always notices when something is going on in the restaurant, things in particular. He wants to be, he wants everything to run perfect. He has a good sense of humor, but can be very serious and anxious about all things related to Finn's. His first friend, a rational versus irrational man, Mr. Nigel. Nigel is a, a dashing middle-aged man from England who is a good friend of Oliver and offers sound advice when needed. Uh, he's part of his group of friends and is a, uh, and he helps them in his endeavor to rekindle the reputation of Finn Steakhouse Restaurant. He's a soft-spoken man, soft words, always looks forward to the greater good. Oliver always looks up to Nigel to make clear-headed choices, as he is a wise man and he has, a, and he has much aged experience. Our next character we have is Jeff, our self-made entrepreneur. He's a CEO of an engineering technology firm that he started in his garage. He loves his job, immerses himself in his company and its endeavors. And he's always the first one to talk about work whenever Oliver and the friends meet up at the bar. He's very direct and he's not the most sensitive person. He's going to be the first to tell it to you how it is. And he's not afraid to say it. Our next character is Elizabeth, our justice approach woman. She's a 35-year-old, hard-working registered nurse. She works hard and plays hard and she lives by it. She's outgoing, caring, and she's considerate about Oliver and her friends and likes to help him through his situation. Uh, she likes to use the justice approach in all her endeavors and make sure it's always the right choice. Our next character we have is Marco. 
the bad owner of our TV show. He's the hard partying, charismatic owner of Finns. He's the focus of the article accusing him of using Finns as a cover for his illegal activities. He believes in me, myself, and I. The basic symbol of the general bad owner in any work environment. Next characters we have are Jeb and Mary. These are the reporters of Finn's Steakhouse. They're the secret ones who stir up the trouble and release the article degrading the restaurant and the owner. Oliver goes into overdrive after seeing the article these two release. Getting into our concepts, we use episode 4, Strategy and Decision. In this episode, Oliver Oliver organizes a friendly get-together meeting with his friends Nigel, Jeff, and Elizabeth to talk about Marco and the article in the newspaper. In this one, Oliver takes on the principles of individual and group decision-making and that he consults with his friends to each give him a different method, quote, strategy, on how to communicate with Marcus, make a decision, and execute it accordingly. Each of his friends have a unique perspective on managing and management styles. They make use of the bounded rationality model uh, more so in this one. In the bar, since uh, in this one we use uh, three different forms of strategy and, and perspective. Each friend is sort of a different model of strategy. Uh, they each sort of organize a meeting since Oliver can't use his employees at the restaurant. They're all uh, sort of scattered and they're all leaving. So he has to consult with his friends. And sort of like a, like a key leaders meeting. This is very important in our in our management career in that we always have key leaders and we always come up with strategies and decisions in order to uh, to execute problems accordingly, uh, solve issues, or come up with new new strategies. To further discuss our episode concepts, we use episode five, leadership. In this episode, Oliver confronts the restaurant owner Marco Finn about his alleged drug involvement and illegal money activities that the newspaper article discussed. Being at the top of the list in terms of managing and duty means being a leader is a 24-7 task, and everyone underneath you looks up to you in making the decisions and leading by examples. Throughout this whole uh, endeavor, Oliver has been the leader in figuring out what's going on with the restaurant and bringing his friends together to, to come up with, with a problem. This also incorporates our previous episode of Strategy and Decision, where in this one he, he becomes a leader. And more so throughout the entire TV show, he is basically the main leader to confront the, the issue. In this one, Oliver influences co-workers and friends as their leader to come together against Marco and confront him about the allegations. In our managing uh, lifestyle uh we must, uh, we must learn to become leaders and influence workers to get jobs done and to come up with, uh, like the previous episode, strategy and decisions to solve problems and come up with new ideas uh, to, to make progress. Now we get to our general conclusions of management. Managing can be a rewarding yet challenging career choice. Effective managers are needed to guide employees and businesses to success. Managers must be creative and enthusiastic leaders. Managers must be flexible and willing to adapt to every situation that emerges within the business, and they must be decisive and prepared for anything to come. You not only manage on the job, but also at home and in your personal life. Principles of management are essential to achieving maximum success in every form of management. And now our recommendations for future students. Get your group organized and assign tasks and the overall project becomes very small weekly tasks. Really invest yourself into the weekly reflections. I feel they help drive the week's lesson home. Try to stay in touch and communicate effectively with your group as best as possible to get across opinions and troubles about the project and assignments. Everyone is going through various life situations and knowing what others are going through makes things more comfortable for everyone. Look ahead through the management concepts indeed as early as you can to incorporate them into the group's project early. It will give everyone a much easier time in understanding the requirements. We also recommend starting the writing log as soon as possible, especially when there's a project due that week because 
I would wait until the last minute and it put me under a lot of stress. Enjoy our trailer and thank you for watching.